so today we are going to start up with the pandas right now this is one of the module which is important for dealing with the data sets right uh, where you go up with the data rankings data analyzations data plottings and all those things right so plotting is being much more deal with the c1s and the matplotlib okay and this is important for the data science as well as for the machine learning both the students right so it is uh, going to be start from now okay will be uh, sir yeah uh, sir i had couple of doubts yesterday i sent it on group <laughs> about i now. have seen i have seen it uh, uh, just a second So you do one thing first. You go through this. If you don't understand clear, there are a lot of questions. Okay, find those questions. It will be uh, within seventeen or eighteen questions. Okay, so there are hundred questions. You search is uh, within eighteen. You will get those questions. If you don't uh, get it, how it is being solved there, then you ask me and tell you. Okay. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. So this is now we will be going through the pandas. Right now, let's see the versions we are using. So we'll just say uh, for the PD we'll be taking okay for pandas PD, and we'll be saying that pandas version will be PD dot underscore underscore versions okay, and this is one point zero point one right. Now in pandas guys, you have lot of data sets to learn through, and like uh, you, you can say like. Exactly, if you are learning data science or machine learning, the best hands should be on pandas, right? If you are also in the field of data science, you must have a good hands on pandas. So a lot of functions are there for the pandas. So let's see first how many functions are there. So within a function, there is a lot of functions, right? So many times the functions can be called as the model. Now we will say it's to be as PD, so we see it as 141, right? So not only 141, it says a lot of things. There are series, there are data frames, there are panels, right? For the panels, you have lots, for the series, you have another lots. Okay, so let's see. So we find some small kind of things so like integer, D, Excel writer, categorical, data frame. Now when we see these terms like data frame somewhere you will be finding panels like from p when it starts from p you'll find some panels you'll find some series okay now these are very small words but inside data frame we we'll talk about there are a lot of things which comes inside there right a lot of functions are there so one more thing what you can do is you can go to google right and you can write something to find the documentations of the things, right? You can find pandas uh, documentation. So if you go through this, you will find the first link that is pandas.1.1.4, right? Here is the documentation basically. So don't go with developer guides and that's all right. You go with the user guides and here you'll find a lot of things, right? So there are the things like if you are going through a data frame so if you want to understand about the data frame what are data frame what are the functions in the data frame a lot of things are there you will get one by one like notes are there which could be used right? the functions mm. Just one second. Mm. Don't go with the video. Okay, I'll share you the link. I'm not finding it here. Alright, let's go to our share tab. Okay, 
so here the three terms the three of the terms are series panels oh, sorry data frames and panels right now we say series are nothing but the one dimension numpy array okay one di 1d array we have learned through the numpy that is basically and also in the ibm examinations yesterday you gave the exam right so in the ibm examination you are not going to get such uh, hard type of questions what you gave yesterday it will be asked very easily normal questions like dot product of sub two matrix and then the indices okay like indexing and all very simple questions would be there right so it would be not tough for you but it is okay like if you go through good questions be okay right so series are nothing but one dimensions numpy array data frames then again comes as a two dimension numpy array and for the panels we'll be saying it has to be the three dimensions numpy array right so if we define two series now what is exactly a series what is a pd dot capital s e r i e s so this is a panda score series okay now if you have to learn about this pd dot series if you want to go through this so what we'll do is we'll just write the parameters if you just write this so this is a blank series right very blank null nothing is there inside this right and that's you call as a default for an empty series right okay so this is an empty series whose data type is a float of 64 bits right so if we want to define some parameters in the series how we are going to define it so what if we write help of pd dot help of like um, something like series if we say pd dot so what are you are getting here class of help on class series in the modules pandas dot go dot series right so what are the parameters here the data the index the data type the name the copy and the fast path so these two are not very much important right so important parts are the name the data type the index and the data right so these are one dimensional num numpy array with access labels right labels are there labels means that you will be getting the index things okay all right so these are the things and like index or types okay some methods have been defined how you can write the things okay some functions would be there and a lot of things okay so i'm removing this yeah so let's uh, make it pd.series s1 and we'll say data then what you have seen there as the data type then you have seen something called as name and one more what was that index right okay now you don't have to write something like data equals to this data type equals to this if you define then it's okay these are the parameters now now series can be made with the vectors vector means like a blank not a blank like a list or a tuples or like with the sets okay like with the dictionaries with the numpy array right so all those things so let's make it uh, like uh, the first data as a vector one would be taking it as zero one two three okay and would say print s1 So what you see on the right hand side and the left hand side is can you define anyone can tell me what is on the left hand side and what is on the right hand side any hints want
okay see on the left hand side whatever you are seeing is your index and on the right hand side what you see is the vector what we have written right the 0 1 2 3 is here is in the right hand side the values on the left hand side what you see of 0 of 0 index 1 2 3 and then so on like right? if we define s2 or if we just replace the things here what if we write 12 in the beginning any changes in the left hand side no because these are the index positions these will always be same on the right hand side you have the changes according to your uh, vectors okay so now let's go to the different series right like on the different parameter so data is clear to everyone now every time for writing a series data is not important you can just write 12 13 14 and you can just run index must be called with a collection of some kind with the past what is the problem okay 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 right so you can find the things easily 12 13 14 right so series can be made without writing data these are the parameters you always don't need to write the data equals to this, 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 okay? But still, I'm writing here now. In the beginning, we used to write things, okay? Now, the thing is, like, data type you are getting is integer of 64 bits, which is being uh, presented to you, right? So, what you do is, you need to change it. So, let's say, D type will be equals to integer of 64. I'll say it to be, like, float, right? So, I'll tell it to be np dot load of 32 bits and I'll get an error because I have not imported numpy right clear right so I run this now and I see the s2 I find it to be a float of 32 bits sir, sir import pandas right import pandas as pd no pandas we have done I am using here np.float32 okay sir like I am using the uh, float of numpy right so for that i have to use numpy for that i have to use it. pandas we have done in the beginning here okay sir okay. Hmm. so s2 is there with the float 32 bits right now uh, if you want to have the different parameter what we'll do is here for the name now this series is having any name if we write print s2 what is the series name we find none obviously so it's zero hmm. so let's write the name and we'll say it has to be a float float series okay now we'll run the same and we see it has to be float series and even if you print this you will get a name over that is time, right now index 0 1 2 is there right now what if you want to change the index if we are making s3 we say pd dot series of some elements like 10 20 30 right and the data type to be Okay. Now index by default starts always from zero. Remember, right? So we are taking three. What if I say A B C? That's it. Right? Only up to this. We'll run this and we'll look onto the S3. So we see the name flow data type flow 32 the index has been changed to abc and the values okay. clear all the four uh, parameters to everyone anyone having doubts hmm. cool hope no doubts Similar. Yes. So these are the four parameters, and 
we can make series with the dictionaries and with the numpy arrays. So with the numpy arrays, how we can make it? Let's look at it. Right, so with numpy arrays, how it is? Uh, you can define any series code. data as one dot an array and one two three four five so it looks something like this okay easy for the array you can make it like this or with the random numbers like like this okay and give names and also by default name does not come right when you are dealing with the data sets in the data frame and when you make series over there then you get the names of the series okay but by default if you are only dealing with the series one dimensions you give you have to give the names which is not very compulsory but for your things you can make it there no it would be a random one Oh, this is random values data type over there and the things okay all right now there are some arithmetic operations like uh, with the dictionaries also you can make it let's see sir i have one doubt here sir mm -hmm. yes. uh, sir i have uh, this common doubt for pandas also and for numpies also mm -hmm. uh, sir yeah, in, in in which you are assigning in the s5 when you're assigning the statement pd dot series data is equal to np dot random dot rand n hmm. so sir i'm i'm pretty confused when do you take random dot random or random dot i int integer and random dot and random See. and because system is showing error whenever and yeah, because yesterday when i was giving my test hmm. in few in few places i was specifying random dot random so they were showing er error and when i when i was putting random dot and and the system was okay with it so I'm, I'm pretty confused with it hmm. okay see random integer is something like when you are working with ranges okay like when you have two starting and stopping intervals then you should use rand int okay when you want only a random value you can use rand n okay that basically gives you any random value and then if you want to make it positive you can multiply with something to get the positive numbers like c in the import of random uh, okay leave it if i say random dot rand int right so rand int will give you error okay rand int will give you error when in place of random if you are working with rand int right what if i say rand int of 5 You, what you get the starting interval as 0 and till values would be coming till 5 right so yes sir right yeah, it's all not getting that's another problem but you get the values till 5 in the random integers the starting and the stopping is fine but if you are using rand yes. range right like in the rand range Now this would not be a module of the mp dot random. For that you have to go through the random only. 
like if I say from random import because every function of the random is not in the uh, numpy right so it's the second uh, rand range it is yeah so random dot rand range so random is not defined import okay only rand range is so rand range if you run so any positional argument is missing at a start so uh, let's say from 3 to 2 to 5 so you get again the values but here you will not get 5 right if, yes, if you are working with 0 to 5 you will get values from 0 to 4 not 5 At the rand end you get those things right and if i yes, show you all the directory of the random here so i tell you what are important Hmm, not important. So here it is. Where you will find something for your important see where you use random okay when you have something called as uniformly distributed floats okay yes sir okay, okay. when to use bytes we yesterday used uh, day before yesterday we have used choice right to get a sample random sample for a one dimension array below down you yes. get all those things the random when you use normally distributed values Okay, you can find all the things random integers when you get when you have uniformly distributed integers in a given range what i say okay random yes, float sir, yes. is also there so once you go through this you'll find everything okay yes sir all right. thank Where you sir. Was I dictionaries okay so let's make a dictionary uh any random let's say mathematics subject equals to dictionary and semantics. All right. Now this is sub right, so let's make S5, S5 I think has been done as 6 is equals to PD dot series now, okay, and I will say here that my data is equals to, to sub. Now in this case, you know, like in the dictionaries, the index number are nothing but the keys. So your index would be keys, right, and the values on the right side, whatever the things are there, and you can define the name again and like subjects or results or just simple marks like this okay so with the things it can be made easy now there are some operations let's go with that Last class videos you haven't get till now, right? So actually, I had no problems. Now that will be today. Operations uh, are like plus divisions, multiplications, uh, some common operations on mean, median, maximum, modes. Okay, I will find those things. Let's have it. So why you are not getting on the series? Let me define it from panda. The functions of the directory of pd dot series. Again, I have got the list class. 
static methods. That's fine. So what else you see now here is the operations of a series. Okay. Like difference, divisions, divide, divisions, modulus, dot, drop, drop duplicates. If a series is having any duplicates, you can drop it, the values. Okay. You will not find all the functions in the net even if you find the things. Right. What you can find is this in the directory. So it's the cumulative maximum, cumulative minimums. Okay, then cumulative sum. Come sum is used in the math, like in the matplotlib to find out things. The describe gives you the statistics of the things. Okay, uh, we'll have the things you find it there. And similar to this is the data frames also. Because uh, if you look onto the pandas, what we have seen in the beginning. There you will not find all these functions. Can you find the no? That's what exactly I said that within a single term also there are a lot of functions to learn. Okay, like I have shown you for the series, similar there is for the data frames even. Okay, and same for the panels. Panels is not very much important, but series and this is much more important. Okay. Okay, let's come here. So are you guys going through the notebooks what I am providing in the drive or not? From data frames and for this print directory of data frame. This is access. Yeah, fine. So the functions are similar to this, right? Why what? box plot box plot and all these are for plottings that is why i say that in the data frames it'd be important to go through the things more easily okay uh, all right let's go with the series functions okay so what all we see data frames is not important for now so i remove this and i'm importing the complete pandas i think it is there fine Okay, so the very first function, or let's take any uh, some function from it. Let's take the add. Okay, very simple one I'm making right now. So S3 is I'm having S3, and I think S4 also I have. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three is there. Can you see things? Okay, so three elements here and uh, five elements here. I want to add them, right? Now see again the conditions of not a number will come. If I say S3 dot add s4 so i find everything as nan why if anyone can tell me why it does everything in the nan okay let's take another example so s7 equals to s3 dot copy okay and if I say s7 dot add s3, I get the results. See? Again, I get the results. What is being happening here? Not on a mobile. Anyone can tell anything. Whatever you think, you just tell it. At least you will be having a doubt here. See, index are there A, B, C, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it was still 4. Here it was still C. So, index are there. But the results are not there. Okay. One thing again.
if they are modifying thing. So not a number why because of the data types in 2030 and also because of the index. Okay. See what if I have S5? I think some random numbers would be there. Quite good. Okay. Uh, similar to this, I take S8, where again I'll take in some random numbers like NP dot. Okay, like PD dot a series, and this would be NP dot random dot random of six. S8 is there. Now I say S5 plus S8. I get one nan. Why this? Because in the S5 I was having four elements. You can say five elements. In S8 I have some six elements. Okay, I just a second. You get confused through the index numbers also. The value part is six. Yeah, index of five. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's what it's supposed to be. Why? And then of okay to six. So as it comes from one to six. Same with the S five we can do it. Like where it is S five, S five. Somewhere here. Right, so S5 plus S8 would be easy now for you, right? Now see, so in S8 you have six elements, in S5 you have five elements. So with the five you were trying to add with six. Obviously the sixth one will not be possible because you have nothing to add there with the fifth one, right? So it would be not a number. Clear to everyone? Similar operations if I do S5 dot multiply with S8. Values would be again the last one would be blank, right? No problems for that. I hope any problems in that section to anyone understanding those things. Okay, so plus minus multiplications divisions are quite very simple in those factors. Okay, so for where are we now? Now let's understand what is there in the duplicate somewhere you find the duplications where there are two things drop duplicates what is drop okay now uh, see if I have a null value here that is n a n so if I say that in this dot drop n a so I'm not going to look any uh, I'm not going to get any of the n a or you can say null values right so so now null values are there now. Can you see it? No, obviously, right? So here, see with the additions. Even if I say though drop n a, so you will not get any null values. So the complete values would not be there. Like if I say s eight is equals to this. Sorry, s nine. So s nine is having this, right? Okay. But if a series is having a null value, like uh, if it is having something like this, S9. So if I say S9 dot drop NA, so here no null values are coming, right? But whenever I bring the S9, I'll get the NAN again. 
so what is that function or what is that parameter in the drop any or any of the parameters if you are working in the pandas what is that function which will completely delete the things if you say or which will completely perform any operation if you say like if you write true over there so that is in place okay like if i say now here in the drop na that is in place equals to true so now it will completely drop the things and for now how many times you go through the s9 no matter like you will be always getting the values you will not getting any of the null values okay The same is there for the drop duplicates where it is info access number access name index name and all those things we'll go through it where is the D So what drop duplicate works on return a series with duplicate values removed obviously and see in place equals to false this is very important uh, of the parameters right and then keep equals to first and like whatever you so let's discuss the parameters here we don't need to have any book or for that for pandas but still i'll provide you right because whatever the functions if you want to learn i think that these documentations are enough within the documentations you don't require even the net right so all these are very good right you just uh, exactly have to know the way of writing right that is series stop any function name help of that and you will get the documentation right what are the parameters like keep now first last false default first but have to handle so what is first drop duplicate except for the first document okay Last is drop duplicate except for the last document. And false is drop all the duplicates. Right. So you need to uh, know the way of writing. In place is boolean. That is default always is false. You need to write the true if you want to write it. Right. This double quote you will be boolean symbol. Okay. So if true performs operations in place and returns you nothing. Like see here uh, if you have written in place is equal to true, it has performed its operation. But hasn't given you any output. Has it given you anything? Where is the output? No. We have run again the S9 to see the output, right? Okay. Now return series with duplicate drop and next dot drop duplicate, data plane dot drop duplicate, series dot duplicate in data things like that. So let's uh, see here an example generate a series with duplicated entry. So let's write this first. Copy this first.
Voice is not audible. Okay, just a minute. The system, no, I don't think the system is having problems. Is it fine now? Yes, sir, it is fine now. Hmm. Okay. So, keep equals to last. Now, uh, let's keep it. Let's see. So the results are 1, 3, 4, 5. Here it was 0, 1, 3, 5. Now, the last one. Did you understand what exactly means keep equals to last? If it is S, right? If it is a series, what is the last occurrence of the uh, duplicated element? Like in the 0, in the 2, and the, in the last is the 4th, right? So if I say keep equals to last, only the 4th element will be there. The duplications will be removed automatically, that is not any matter, but the last element will be kept. Understood? What is the last keep equals to last? Here and keep equals false in place equals to true. What happens there? Let's see. Keep equals to false. Let's say so. S dot uh, paste it there and keep equals to false. Oh, sorry, like this false. It should be last or false. Yeah, obviously, it should be in parameters or not. No, no, not in the no quotes over there. So simply you can write it as false boolean results. And cow bittle hippo is there. No lama because we we have written that we don't need to keep it. That's it, right? So when you say keep equals false, so only the keep is the parameter which you should keep basically, right? Like if you want the first one, you can only write keep equals true or you don't write anything it will be kept there like even if you write here keep equals to true so only three parameters are there first last and the fourth so I can write the first we have seen right I can write here the first the last we have seen so I'll be writing here the first so I can see only the first parameter then if I say the last the last parameter is there and if I say here the false is false is there okay and if I say here in place equals to true so now in the s if you write s and find the values you'll not get the duplicated values even anytime it will be removed okay similar to this if in a series I'm saying S is equals to PD dot clear to everyone this function if I say that my data is equals to numpy dot array I tell one two three four five okay or after four I say np dot lan and we might get to np dot lan somewhere okay uh, after two np dot man some head run this in one syntax somewhere yeah here. so this is my s something which looks like this okay one nan two nan three four nan right now there are uh, options or you can say the functions basically let us fill in a and drop in a drop in a we have looked on right so we'll look on to the fill in a now what is fill in a fill the null values so if I say s dot fill na so take some parameters must specify a fill value or a method right so I'll uh, say it to be like 4.5 so all the null values will be feeded with 4.5 clear clear guys 4.5 what does it mean 
okay like here similar if i say n s dot drop n a so no null values would be given all the null values will be dropped out okay similar to this if i again look onto the s i will find the null values not the fill values and not even the dropped values so what i need to do is s dot fill n a and the in place will be equals to true so you must specify a fill value so now what i'll do is so i'll say 3.45 is to be filled sorry and in place will be true now see whenever you write in place it will perform the function but or, or the operation but will not give you any results so if i see my s now I get the complete things right from the one and all the values are there. Now 3.45 is the duplicated values. So again I can go with this s dot drop duplicates and I can find 1, 3.45, 2, 3, 4. Okay, the things. Clear to everyone whatever the functions we have till now. Uh, sir, in that keep function, mm -hmm. then when we write keep is equal to false. So means a function which is repeated that will be automatically removed. Yeah. Like uh, it will not be completely removed. It will be like if you say keep equals to false, you're not going to get it. Like uh, keep, you are saying to write it as false. You don't want to keep it, right? Yes, sir. You are asking like what if we say keep equals to false? It will not be completely removed. Like uh, the output what you will see will be uh, looking like it has been removed. But whenever you see your S, you'll get the results. See, for that you need to write here in place equals to true, okay this time it will be removed completely okay sir all right hmm. now with the series uh, the last three functions will be discussing today right and you can go through so uh, in within the one hour what you get after the class you go through all the things all the modules what like here okay append apply argument maximums what are the functions if you want to if you have interest in any of the function you just go through write the things like this okay uh, in the way of where it is where it is yeah here like this you go through the documentation understand the function if you have doubts you ask okay and let's see some of the mathematical functions like mean median mode if i want to find the median of this i just write s dot median so this is the median similar to this i can find the mean so this is mean for mode you need to import the stats from the scipy mm. sorry from stats you need to import the more you ask me right so s dot oops model not found <laughs> or from this import this and stats dot more of s get you the results i hope yeah fine so mode array 3.45 count array is 3 clear count array for the three times 3.45 is there that's it clear and the describe so describe basically gives you the count mean standard deviations minimum values maximum values 50 25 and 75 percentile of the series count is basically means that the series is having seven elements mean is 2.907143 what exactly you get here okay the standard deviation is again the results minimum value is 1.0 maximum is 4.0 75 percentile of s is 3.45 50 percentile is again 3.45 and 25 percent is 2.50 clear Variances can be also fine using this. 
that is 1.01 you can go through the things what is variance and what other things right mm, help of so you can find here okay so that's all for today